on what's for supper. So, I'm going to catch Granny cooking tonight and see what she's got going on. Then I'm going to check in with me, my Dixie. And then I'm going to check in with Brother in South Carolina. What are you doing? I'm fixing some steak and put it in the crock pot let it cook all day and put me some green, some onions on it and some spices. Let the kids eat it on rice tonight. I don't like rice, but they do, so. They all come home starved to death. Trying to eat out of the freezer. Can't afford to buy meat. So if you're putting it in a crock pot, why are you frying it in the skillet? Because I'm getting all this blood off from it before I put it in the crock pot. I've got some <clears throat> Soot beans on, or brown beans, or whatever you want to call them. And I've got steak I'm cooking. And I'll probably fix some potatoes. And we'll have it at supper time. This is uh, my steak that I fried in boiling water. So I got all that off from it. Then I'm putting it in my crock pot. And I've got just a little bit of water, and I'm going to let it cook on low for a three or four hours, and then I'm going to put some brown gravy mix over it. And I'm going to put a little bit of onion. I'm chopping up some onion. I'm going to put it on top of my steak. I don't have any fresh green pepper, but some of mine don't like pepper anyway. But onion makes anything taste better. Anything good. Now I put some onion in it, and I'm going to put the lid on it now and let it cook for about three or four hours. Okay, I put my brown gravy over the steak, and now it's getting real thick. And they're going to put it over rice, and they are going to love it for supper tonight. Or mashed potatoes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make some mashed potatoes because Mick will not eat rice, and I don't eat rice, so we'll eat the mashed potatoes. Now we got steak and brown gravy. Oh, now, Granny. I'm peeling some potatoes to pick some mashed potatoes. Some of them eat rice and some of them eat mashed potatoes. Does it come along in here? We have to get ready. I've got my, I'm steaming my broccoli. And I'm going to put me some cheese sauce over it. That's the only way I like, that's the only way I like broccoli. Cornbread's about done. What you got good to eat? Broccoli and rice. And cube steak. Well, our supper's ready. And I have rice with steak and gravy. And broccoli and cheese. I have me some old timey rice with butter and sugar. I think Granny's about cleaned her plate. I just get started. I've got the same as you. Cornbread. Mine must have been awful good. I cleaned my plate. Granny? Well, it looks like you cleaned your plate too. Let's check in with Dixie. Hey, Mima, what you got for supper tonight?
This is me all here, and tonight I am going to fix fajitas for supper. So I got me some beef. I'm cutting it in little hunks. Put it in a in a plate because I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna put some spices and stuff on it. And I've got some chicken here, and I'm gonna cut it up and pieces. So. We love Mexican and we like to go to the Mexican restaurant but I'm telling you it's getting so pricey and nobody's working. It takes so long to get waited on. But I just started fixing it here at the house. We don't have to go anywhere. And I always put down a piece of paper anytime I'm dealing with chicken. And then I just hold it up and throw it away. So I've got my chicken and my beef here. I'm going to spread it out a little bit because I'm going to add a little bit of spices to it. I'll turn my eye on. I'm going to put a little bit of fajita mix. I don't use the whole pack. I'll probably put maybe a, a big tablespoon, just sprinkle it on it. And I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon of chili powder. And I'm going to put some pepper, about a half a teaspoon of pepper on it. And very, very, very little bit of salt because my husband, I've got him on a no salt diet right now. So, I'm going to mix that up so it will get down into the meat and the flavors will as it cooks. And... I'm going to put me some oil in my pan. I'm going to take her a hard spin through the fill. Okay, and I'll get back. Okay, now while my meat is cooking, I'm going to take and cut me up some green pepper. and an onion and some tomatoes so then when it gets done I can just put these on top because I don't want these cooked to death I just I want them a little bit crunchy but just kind of warm them Notice I cut everything in half, that way it don't take as much. And an onion. If you lay it flat, it won't slide out the onion on you. We like onions here. Okay, so I've got my onions cut up and my peppers. So now I'm going to cut up my tomatoes. I'm just going to cut just a bunch of tomatoes so we can just lay them on top. Cut them about any way you want to. You slice them. This just gives it a little bit of flavor. Once I get these cut up, I won't put these in until my meat starts to brown good. Right now, it's just kind of simmering in its own juice, and that'll dry out. It'll start browning, and once the meat starts browning good, then I'll add my vegetables. 
on top because I don't want them, like I said, I don't want them cooked to death. I just want them kind of tenderized and heated through. These are really good. I know the ones you buy in the restaurants probably, they're good too, but we've got, well, we've been eating these and they're about as good, so I kind of just winged this recipe and made it up on my own. And uh, it's turned, it turns out pretty good. So, which my husband's easy to please. He will eat anything. He doesn't care. He's very easy to please. So I really don't never have to worry about what to fix unless I'm trying to please myself because he likes everything. So I'm going to let this brown for a few more minutes. And I'll put this over here in the plate. So when I get ready to put them in, I can do it all at one time. And I'll go out in the garage and get me some salsa that I can. And get the stuff laid out that we'll eat with it. And we'll get back with you. Okay, my meat's about brown good enough. So I'm going to start putting in my vegetables and let them just heat up really good. So I'm going to put my onions in. And my green peppers. And then I'm going to put my tomatoes. Probably should have got a bigger skillet. But this will work all right, I guess. I think there's a few juices left in this dish. I'll just pour them in it too. So I'm just going to let this heat up really good while my cheese is melting over here. Now you can make your own white cheese. It's pretty simple. It takes about a half a pound of American white cheese. Uh, about a tablespoon of garlic powder and a little bit of milk just so it won't stick. And you can put you some... Uh, pepper jack cheese in it if you want to and some a little bit of cayenne pepper in it and just let it melt and it, it's pretty good that's how I make mine so we we'll use the cheese everybody likes cheese you can eat them on on this you can pour it over top of it or you can eat it with chips so I'm warming up the cheese, uh, cheese that's got warmed up, so when they come in, they'll be ready to eat. All I have to do is just throw my shells in the oven for a few minutes, and it don't take very long at all for that. So, supper will be ready in a little bit. Well, my fajitas are just about done. It's about ready to call everybody in for supper. And I'll show you what it's going to look like. Here's our supper. And it looks really good. Now my brother in South Carolina loves to send me his supper and his snacks every day. So let's see what he's having for supper tonight. Well, I hope this video's made you all hungry. So y'all get in there in the kitchen and start cooking. Y'all have a great night, and we'll see you next time on Granny Women of Appalachia. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.